Trevor Silva. Okay, here's the scary part of this show that I just saw someone I know. Okay, here's the scary part. A few people here that are not comedians, and you're probably saying to yourself, well, hasn't that been happening already, uh, wanted to come up here and say a few words. So I'm limiting them to two minutes, and after, I will come up here and throw their ass off the stage, because we got to get this thing moving. But uh, our first... No, okay, I'm going to bring up the next comic, because we got to go. we got to up here. Okay, who wants to go next, comics? You want to come out? Okay. A uh, good friend of mine, a great supporter of comedy here. Give it up for Victoria Morgan. Hey, and let's give it up for John, the birthday boy. As he told you, I'm not a comic. I'm a comic supporter. And I'm doing a favor to a good friend of John's. John has talked a lot about his relationships, lack thereof. It's trouble getting a piece, and it's all true. Um, John does have a lovely ex-girlfriend, now engaged to a new wonderful man, Helene, here in the audience. Give it up for Helene. And that is how nice Helene is as compared to John. John would send an invitation to his ex-girlfriend to come to his birthday party right after she got engaged. And she is here to celebrate today. And what she, yeah, give it up for Helene. Thank you. What she wants everybody to know about John is he had a pretty poor game with the women. That's not surprising. Um, if you all know John as we do. And John's pickup line when he met Helene was, You look as desperate as I do. Wanna go out? And that started their wonderful romance. And John has talked a lot about being Jewish and made a few insinuations about the Jewish culture, and I'm down with the Jewish culture. I'm a Unitarian Universalist, and we're down with all the different cultures, as you know. And John uh, is a little frugal, let's say he's a little frugal, but he did show up one time and take Helene on a beautiful cruise. You remember that, Helene, it was an awesome cruise. I heard about it. And uh, in fact, that was the only time that their bed was a rockin'. I'm serious. And uh, speaking of John's small penis, um, <laughs> yeah, it's very small. Smaller than the little finger that he showed you earlier, I'm sure, from what I've heard. Um, John uh, and Helene, you know, tried to get it on a few times, and John's penis was so small, and I'm sure it is so small, that Helene is the only female known to have had her hymen grow back in. <laughs> John's member. Okay? So, since I'm limited to a few minutes, I have to take orders from the boss. Thanks for coming out to wish him a happy birthday. Turn it back to the birthday guy. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Uh, she'll be here all week. Okay, our next comic. One of my favorite guys. Uh, he has been on Showtime. He's been on A&E. And if hilarity were wet cement, I would wait hours for him to get hard. <laughs> Give it up for Chicago Steve Barkley. Winter in Chicago, you have no idea what the word cold is. Winters in Chicago are like... <laughs> Mush! <laughs> bedroom to the bathroom. <laughs> it is cool. Uh, like I'm trying to think of how I'm going to intro you. I have a bunch of these clever ones. And I'm not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with the Kenny, but I just want to establish that right now. If smart comedy were a fish, I'd bone him till he's dry. <laughs> Give it up for Jerry Goldstone. Thank you. It's very pricey in San Francisco. You know, it's kind of depressing. I have a little trick I use. When I use the ATM, I push the Spanish button. Because my balance looks bigger in pesos. Comic, uh... Ooh, which one did I have for him? If hilarity were a walnut, I'd crack him open. <laughs> okay, you can't win them all. Give them up for Kevin Monroe. My co-workers like Kevin, you know those Jews. They like to save a lot of money. 
people like, all right, maybe to like to save money. I don't know. But I mean, is there an ethnic group that hates bargains? <laughs> Some minority that's insulted by disco. I was like, is this a coupon? <laughs> Motherfucker! Okay, our next comedian. I had oh, I had a good one for her. what was it? Oh, if sexiness were an apple, I'd put her on a stick and pour caramel all over her. <laughs> She's also listed in the Oakland City Guide as a fun thing to do. Last but not least, she was on Last Comic Standing. Give it up for Candy Chirilla. Yes, Granton is, uh, it's not fun at all. It's like, it's, uh, there's nothing there. It's a repressed old mining town. It's, it's a good place to get drunk and die, basically. Yeah. It's like Modesto with snow. <laughs> Don't bring any presents. I just had to, because you know, he's just recently made a trip to Europe, and he, he went to Amsterdam, where they had things more than the red light district. They have other things there, and I know that since he's back, I wanted to bring him some weed. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. And uh, for, for reference, uh, in Amsterdam, uh, they have what are called space cakes. And if you want to know how they taste it, you can ask my brother. He's right over there. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, God, I'm running out of things to say, so I won't say anything, but... Don't be confused, this is not a return of a previous comic. He's totally different, and uh, his name is Marvin Deloach Jr. You do crazy shit too. Stevie Wonder! I love him! Had the nerve to show up at the NBA Finals and sit in the front row. <laughs> Uh, what happened? Uh, Stevie, I'm trying to watch the game, man. I didn't spend a thousand dollars in the front row to explain shit to your ass every five minutes. Before I go, I just want to sing a song to John DeColvin. Because it's his special birthday. Happy birthday to you. Come on, everybody say, happy birthday to you.